can exist, this me, this me who is afraid of what's going to happen to me because there is no money flow, I'm going to lose my home, I'm going to lose my kids, I'm 50 years old, I'm 60 years old, I'm 70 years old, at this stage in my life I'm going to be on the street or I have to go and stay with friends or whatever. Me, the I thought. Me, I is worried about something. This I thought only exists by relating itself to something else. So this is the subject, that's the object. So look at yourself and pay attention. You have to pay attention. Between this week and next week when we meet again, you need to follow this exercise and be attentive to it. Not just do it for five minutes and then leave it. Be attentive to this because this is one of the major keys to awakening and freedom. It's advanced teaching. This is not for kids. I'm not offering you some crystals or mala or mantra or da 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 da. This, all of those things was for A, B, C, D. You had to learn these things past life or earlier this life. If you come to advanced stages in your spirituality, this is advanced. This is PhD level. This is very high. Okay? So pay attention. Is the only way this I, this me, this identity that I refer to as me, which is false, exists is when it's relating itself to an object. So what it does, it, it says, I like that tree. I don't like that tree. I like Monica. I don't like Monica. I get annoyed when I go in a crowd. Nowadays when I go to a restaurant which is very busy, the noise bothers me. I don't like to be in that vibration. This me is only knows itself to relate itself to another object. Now, you want to free yourself from suffering forever and don't do anything else. Don't meditate. Don't come to any of my classes. Don't go to anyone's classes. Don't ever do any more spiritual thing in your life. Only do one thing. If you do this one thing, this is going to take you home. If you stop doing anything else, you quit everything else and just do one thing. And that thing is sever the relation, cut the relationship between the I and whether it likes something or doesn't like something. Cut that thing. So, I like that tree. I like that tree. Oh, that's a cute tree. I really like that tree. It's beautiful. I cut the relationship between I like that tree and that tree. So now the tree is gone. There is no more an object. Is only the subject, the I. I'm, the I cannot stay there on its own because it's a false notion. It's not real. So it cannot exist without relating itself to something else. So it has to fall back into its source. means it needs to go back into silence and where it's quiet. Okay, try that right now. While I'm getting my Instagram going on, try it. Think of yourself, think of something you like or you don't like. Someone is annoying you. Some situation you don't like. You don't like this pandemic because of its finances. It's very heavy, you're about to lose things. So you say, I'm worried about things. So I, I'm worried about things. I cut this, sever the relationship with worry about things. Now there is nothing else. Cut that 
and see what happens. Try it right now. Go ahead, try it right now while I'm getting my Instagram going. And see what happens. Examine it for yourself. See what comes out of it. What happens when you do that? Anybody? Dorothy? Yeah. Do is that right? Did I pronounce your name right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, yeah. what happens? What happens when you did this? I, I noticed that my mind collapsed in a way and there were silence and um, em a way of emptiness. Beautiful. Congratulations. Well done. Anyone else? Yeah, make that your practice. Suzanne, are you there? No, your mom, your mom went to do something. Okay, we'll wait for her to come. Your, oh, there it is. Is that your, is that a son or daughter? I can't see her face. See, daughter. Here she, oh yeah, hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, what is your name? I'm Tate. Tate, nice to meet you. I'm Zaratustra. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I switched on the light in our yeah. room. Yeah, yeah. So were you able to do this, honey? Did you have a moment to do it? Yes, I did it. And how did it work? For me, when I cut the eye, it's also silence, but it, it comes back. It comes back. Oh yeah, it comes back. It comes so, back. For the moment I can do it, but you know, tomorrow morning it's again there. Yeah, you, you just keep doing it. You get into a practice, the the I comes, the I thought, and with the I thought comes the mind bombardments because, again, you remember what I said in halfway or beginning of this conversation? I said everything is about me. I'm the most important person on this planet to me. So the thought of what's going to happen to me if I lose my home, and I have to go on the street, it's me and my kids. What's going to happen to me? It always comes with me. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the thought of I thought is going to come again and again and again. That's why if it was that easy, everybody would be enlightened in five minutes. You have to practice this on a regular basis. It requires attentiveness. You have to be attentive to it because it's thousands of years of identification with the I thought. For thousands of years, we're identifying with a false notion of that you are somebody separated from the source. Therefore, you're responsible for your own well-being. Since, the, okay, now you want to cut this off. It's not going to happen overnight. Sometimes, some people may, but you get into a practice of doing it. So what happens is you do this regularly. Whenever you remember, I'm not saying every moment of your life. Of course, that's not possible. But you get in a practice of doing this regularly. What happens is you're going to discover yourself one day, a week from now, three weeks from now, a month from now.